Men of Action is an essay about patrimony and consciousness. And it begins in a hospital bed in Sunnybrook. And my, my father's in a coma and I'm shaving him. And this is the first time I do this and I recognize what an intimate act it is. And then I recognize that my father probably never will. And as his sense of self starts to erode, I'm quite aware of my own and, and sitting at his bedside I start speculating on his. And to do that I start reading bits of medical history, uh, neuroscientific history, literary history and reflect on bits of personal history and try and weave all of those in to, to get a better sense of who he might be and who I am in relation. There's a father-son dynamic that people can relate to and there's the, the experience of a loss of a parent which people can empathize with. Toronto is actually a, is a backdrop for the whole book. And when I'm writing about my dad, I explore his history. And he grew up at Grayson Harbor in 1930. And then eventually he moved uptown to Bathurst and Lawrence. Well, because I've lived here my whole life, uh, it's such a part of me, I could probably not even recognize how much it's influenced me. You know, I think there's the, the writer Rebecca Solnit, and she t says that the, the city is built to resemble a conscious mind in some ways. There's areas that you, you calculate and administrate and manufacture. And I sometimes wonder if I'm the reverse, that my mind somehow mimics the city of Toronto. But I will say I'm very appreciative of the layers of history of the city because I've been here my whole life and, and I've seen whether it's uh, buildings that have changed, neighborhoods that have changed. It's, I'm very conscious of that, being able to be at two places at one time in the city. The Toronto Book Award recognizes a very specific part of literary culture. It, we all know that literary culture, as well as other cultures, contribute to the overall health of the city. So I think it's, it's great that Toronto recognizes that and has an award specifically for the writers of this city.